Okay, so one of the biggest bugbears we hear from Toyota 200 series owners is that the transmission won't change up in a six gear. Now, they will eventually do it, but you have to be exceeding the uh, 100 kilometers per hour speed limit. That's obviously not gonna work for everyone. So, that's why the car's here. We're gonna fix it up, and Marty's gonna show you how. So we're in the car with Marty, the 200 series. Yep. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're going to try and achieve today? Okay, so we're, we're going to make some adjustments to the transmission calibration and what that will do is when under normal driving as you'll see in some of the videos at say 40% throttle instead of the RPM climbing up to 3,000 for each gear change it'll now change gears below 2,500. That will incur give you better fuel economy and it actually just makes the thing drive nicer. I believe that it hangs on in gears too long just in normal mode, normal driving so it actually shifts earlier and drives nicer. Then, uh, when we're sitting on the freeway like now, at 100 kilometres an hour, we haven't got a caravan or anything like that on, and it's sitting on 1500 RPM. That will give us uh, an improvement in fuel economy. Uh, the reason Toyota have them not go to 1500 RPM is because at this RPM, uh, the engine doesn't make any torque. So, if you've got a load on the back, and you go and you come to a hill, they don't make enough any power there at 1500 rpm to pull you up the hill. So, uh, Toyotas have them fifth gear to convert a lot, sitting about 2000 rpm where the engine can make some torque and you will drive up the hill without problem. With what we've done now, uh, with no load on the back, you can sit at 1500 and it will drive up most hills without a problem. But if you put a caravan on the back or something like that, it will struggle. So if you're towing, we recommend go across to sports mode and then go sports fifth. So now we'll be sitting as we are now, fifth gear, converter lock, just under 2000 RPM. If we've got a caravan on the back now and we come to a hill, it'll have enough torque there to possibly climb up over the hill without having to kick down. If the hill's big enough or long enough, Yes, it may kick back, but it will hold on longer than it did with the factory tune. So, Marty, can you tell us a little bit about how we actually perform what we're doing? We are reflushing the factory transmission control module. Uh, we are adjusting the shift points and to convert a lock-up points uh, to give us the desired output that we want, you know, to shift when we want to shift. And and that's all using the factory computer that's factory not using any... Not, no, no wiring changes, no... We just it's through the ABD2 board. We're just you know, reflushing what was done by Toyota, changing changing their values. And this is all um, reversible, if need be. Yes, at any time you can return it to stock. We can flush the standard calibration back in. You can go to Toyota and have them flush the standard calibration in if you needed to. But there, there should be no reason to ever need to do that. Okay, so this is normal um, mode standard calibration. All right. 40% throttle. Oh geez, wow, it gets right up there, doesn't it? Yeah, it hangs on. Okay, we're in normal mode, and I'm just gonna drive to 40% pedal. So there you have it. This is what we can do with a Land Cruiser 200 series transmission. Match that with our engine tune, which will increase another 100 newton meters out of these things, and you've got the ultimate cruiser.
For more information on all our upgrades, head on over to our website at hp-f.com.au.